Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys my current go-to routine. It is my easy glowy makeup look. I'm using a lot of cream products. Very easy, very glowy obviously. It's a very different look than what I'm used to. I like this is the first time in my life that I'm like really into cream products. So if you've been watching me for a while, you'll see this is a very different routine for me. I have dry skin, but yet I'm someone who has always set my face completely with powder. I don't like a sticky feeling face, but I love the way that the creams make my face look. So this is a look I've been doing a ton over quarantine if I'm wanting to like actually get ready. I did like a quarantine makeup look already. That one is my quick like really really easy like 10 minute not spending a lot of time just simply putting myself together a little bit. This is like the slightly more advanced version. This is what I would typically wear out on a day-to-day -day basis. I would easily wear this to work just probably put some more eyeshadow on but yeah it still takes me very little time and very little products. So yeah, that's what I'm showing you guys today. If you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And also give this video a thumbs up. That's really all I have to say. So we're just going to get right into the video. So the first thing I'm starting off with is primer. Really, you can use anything for this. The one I've been really enjoying recently is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Rub that into my skin. If you want super super glowy makeup you could go in with a like really glowy primer to add that extra glow into your skin i'm then going in with the makeup forever reboot foundation i am surprised by how much i love this foundation it's a lighter coverage which for the longest time i have not been about but quarantine has really changed my makeup habits and i love this so much it just looks so good on your skin like it gives your skin a very natural glow it it really looks like your skin but better kind of thing so i just pump some on i do use a lot though because i like that little extra coverage um but the less you use the lighter the coverage will be and i like to use my sponge when blending this in but even for being like a lighter covered product i really enjoy how well it covers up like redness and stuff usually that's why i don't go for lighter coverage foundations but you can see like the redness on my cheeks is almost completely covered up look at how beautiful that looks like you definitely can still see your skin through it but it just looks like you're incredibly dewy and hydrated now if you have oily skin might not be the finish that you're going for but for someone who has really dry skin, this just looks so, so beautiful. Next, I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using the Hourglass, I think this is the Vanish Veil Concealer. And this is the shade Birch. I've been loving this concealer as well. Very high coverage, but it looks really, really good on the under eyes. It is a little bit light. I struggled picking a shade a little bit, but that's okay. So now that that's all blended out, I'm going to go in with some cream bronzer. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in the shade Fair. I've been obsessed with this. The one thing I've struggled with when it comes to cream products is finding the right brush to use because I feel like that makes a big difference. This is the one I have that I feel like I like the best and it's just a BoxyCharm brush. It came in like a little set. So I'm just going to dip it in there and go to town. The only thing I don't like is how big it is because it can make it a little bit hard to obviously be a little precise with it. But look at how beautiful that blends into the skin. I love this bronzer. It's so good. When I'm working with cream products, I never like blend because I don't want to disrupt my foundation. I simply just like pat it into the skin. She's also a pretty pigmented bronzer, so you definitely don't need too much of this. I just like lightly dab it in, and that's usually good. And I'll just run like a very little bit on the side of my nose. I don't want it to be like super precise, but just give me a little bit of color there. 
and then I'll usually blend all of the edges in with my sponge. Next, I'm going to go in with a blush. I have been using this a ton. It's the Nude Sticks All Over Face Color in In The Nude. They have a more um, matte finish to them, but they blend really, really easily. And I've even used it over top of powder, and it blends really nice. I just take my brush, and I'm going to just apply it on the brush like that. And then blend that into the cheeks. Also, a pretty pigmented product, so go in a little bit lighter with it. I usually do put a lot of cream blush on though just because once I like set my under oh I just rubbed my face once I set my under eyes it can kind of dull out the color a little bit so I do go a little bit heavier with it at first and then once again going in with the sponge and just going to lightly blend the edges Next, I'm going to just set my under eyes and my lids, and then also I like to just set my T-zone a little bit. Really, I set majority of my face other than right on the cream products. I heavily set more of like the mid of my face, and then the outer perimeter I very lightly set because I really want to keep that glow there. And I take a very, very small amount of this. And I only focus it right where I have those lines there because that's where it's going to crease. And I'll bring it down the side a little bit. And then I'll just dust a little bit of powder down my nose. On a little bit right here. Chin. And also I'll put some in my smile line so that there's no creasing there. What I also like to do, I'll take a light, loose powder brush with just a very little amount. And I'll set right under the contour here. Just because it's a little bit sticky, I don't like it being that sticky. But I won't actually set right on the contour because once again, I'm really trying to keep that like glow in the cheeks there. And then I'll dust a little bit around the forehead, still keeping that glow. This area I do like to set a little bit with powder just because I find it rubs off the quickest when I don't. Just from like my hair touching it and my hands and stuff. So I do put a little bit extra powder just on that part of the bronzer. But that's it for the powder. So that's what we're looking like. You can see it's not quite as intense glowy as before, but there's still a lot of that glow right on the cheeks there, which I really like. And yet I still feel pretty confident that the rest of my face is going to stay on well throughout the rest of the day. And then next I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. I've been using the Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter in the shade Extra. Oh, this baby has been a favorite of mine recently. Like, I've always liked it. It's good. But I just don't really reach for loose highlighters quite as much. But wow, when I've been using it with this routine and the way that it melts into the skin is just incredible. The Anastasia highlighting brush is my favorite to use. So I kind of take it like right on the tip of it and blend that right into the skin she is very intense and glowy like i'll warn you guys with that one if you are looking for a nice intense glow this is going to give it to you but what i really love is one how it blends into the skin but for how intense it is it really doesn't emphasize that much texture on me i've used some highlighters that are very intense very metallic and it is just texture city and this one doesn't do that to me. Like, I can definitely get away with it without it showing too much texture. And I have textured skin. And it'll look even better once I, like, set my face and, like, everything just kind of blends in together. I do also like to bring a little bit on the apples in my cheeks. I like a nice glowy appearance from here. But look at how pretty she is. And she just melts in like butter. Oh, so, so good. And highlighting the T-zone like I do really brings back that glow to the center of the face because I did set it with powder. I mean, if you are more oily skin, probably not something you want to do. For me, with dry skin, I love doing this step. Next, I'm going to be doing my brows. I've been doing a super quick, easy brow routine. And I just go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. This adds that color to my brows and just also sets the hair in place defines them a lot more 
definitely adds that volume as well you can see the difference just between those two brows and then I go in with my Sephora brow pencil and just basically fill in any gaps and then I'll just lightly clean up anywhere that needs it really quick simple brows it only takes me like a minute to do and it still really helps to define them and define my face and everything so usually when I'm doing this look I don't do eyeshadow just because it keeps it you know really simple but what I do like to do is take this artist couture this is their diamond lights finisher in spotlight glitz I've mentioned this a few times on my channel um, I actually even included it in a like must-haves from Sephora I take it on my finger it's like it's just a really pretty shimmery it's not super opaque but it really transforms when you put it on the skin depending on like what you use it for where you're putting it so I really like it as like an eyeshadow topper or on its own just to add like a little extra glitter so I just take it on my finger and simply just put it on my lid this is extremely quick and simple but it really just add something to the lid so that they don't necessarily look so bare and also just really adds to that like glowy factor if you want it to be a little bit more intense you definitely can um, spray it to make it a little bit more metallic so you can use as little or as much of this as you want but it just really catches the eyes yet it's so so incredibly quick and simple so next thing I'm gonna do is put on lashes this is definitely optional you could just go in with mascara but I feel like for me, lashes complete the look. I like to go in with something a little bit softer just because we're doing a softer kind of look. So I'm using my Tiffany Teal lashes in the style Debbie. That's what they look like. They're pretty soft lashes, but they do exactly what I'm wanting them to do. Perfect everyday lashes. I've talked about this brand on my channel a ton. They are a local and small business. So if you are wanting to support a small business, especially with times right now, and you want super high quality lashes, definitely check them out. I'll have a link to them in the description box. I do have a code with them as well. I It's not an affiliate code, like I don't make anything with them. It's just for you guys to simply save money and I genuinely love the brand and their lashes. So I'm gonna put those on off camera and I'll be right back. Got the lashes done. Look at how pretty these lashes are. I love them, they're perfect for every day. I'm gonna quickly highlight my brow bone in my inner corner with the Jaclyn Hill highlighter. And then for lips, I keep this very simple. I don't usually wear lip products when I do this look, but for today, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Lip Liner in Frenchie and just do a quick little outline. I'm just partially filling that in, just to give it a little bit of shape. I'm going in with the Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk. And the very last thing will be setting my face. I'm going with the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. This really adds that extra like glow to your skin. Okay, and that is it for this look. As you can see, I am looking very dewy and glowy. And I'm so obsessed with this because having dry skin... My skin never looks like this. I really can't believe how long it took me to get into cream products because, wow, I'm obsessed. The only thing that I don't like about creams is having that, like, kind of stickiness to the face. That's my only downfall with cream products. However, it's worth the sacrifice because my skin looks so beautiful and glowy. Another thing that I really like about using the creams is... It makes my skin look so smooth. Obviously, in the highlighted areas, I can see a little bit of texture. That's just normal for me. But the rest of my skin looks pretty darn smooth and healthy. And yeah, I love it. And it's been a really quick look for me. I, I spent like maybe 30 minutes doing this one. But yet, I still feel like really put together, really good about myself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my quick glowy of makeup look. All products will be linked down below for you guys. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.